Master Jesus, the Savior, was born in Bethlehem during the time of King Herod. The three wise women from the east came to Jerusalem. The three wise women met in one meeting point and they agreed to walk together to look for the baby. Before we go father, who are the three wise women? And what are they going to do while they are looking for the Savior? Here, we will find the answers. Hello everyone! We are the three wise women. I'm Alicia Gaspar. I'm Nicole Malker. I'm Tiffany Balthasar. We are here to start our journey looking for the Savior. Yes, we are looking for him by the guidance of his star in the east. We also brought some presents for him. I brought my best frankincense. How about you guys? I brought my best myrrh. For me, I brought my best gold. We are ready to go guys. How about you? I believe that they are ready as well. So let's go, go, go! The three wise women went on their way. The star that they had seen in the east went before them and served as their guidance all along the way. Gloria, 
angelic voices? I don't know me, I don't listen to those voices. No, 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 me too. This is awesome. Wait, wait. I'm hearing an instrumental piano from above. Listen, listen. I don't hear anything. Ah, I see. I heard it as well. Can you hear it too, friends? The three wise women went on their way. The star that they had seen in the east went before them and served as their guidance all along the way. women were so amazed because of this special night. It made them feel with joy to continue their journey in searching for the baby savior. also feel the same. They feel blessed and full of joy. They cannot wait to see the baby savior. Isn't it? Are you ready? The three wise women continued their journey. They walked, walked, and walked. They believed that they would find and meet the baby savior. The star which served as the guidance came and stood over where the baby savior was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy.
welcome to my Christmas vlog. My name is Cindy Lou Who, and you can call me Cindy, or Lou, or Teeny Tiny Who. But let me tell you that every Who in Whoville loves Christmas. My mommy loves Christmas. My um, my my teddy bear loves Christmas. I love Christmas. Every Who loves Christmas. Except for maybe that one person at the north of Whoville. What's what's her name? The Grinch! Yes, the Grinch hates Christmas. Every single day of Christmas season, she hates it. Why? Uh, I don't know why. No one knows why. But let me tell you what I think. Why the Grinch hates Christmas? Reason number one. Maybe she's a little bit cray cray, you know. Maybe her head isn't screwed on just right. Or maybe her shoes are too small to fit for her big, big feet. And maybe that makes her cringe. Or reason number three, which is probably the most obvious, is because her heart is two sizes smaller than it should be. So whether it was because her heart or her shoes, she keeps on hating on us the Who's. And it's Christmas Eve, and tomorrow's Christmas. But she hates Christmas. I hate Christmas. It really has to stop. I've been putting up with it for 53 years. 53 flipping years, Max. Yes, it has to stop now. It has to stop this year. I must stop Christmas this year. But how? What is it, Max? The Who's... The Who's are here. I've tolerated them too much. Those Hoovenau delinquents stalking me for laughs and giggles. And they're littering in my land. Let's see what we got here. We've got some sort of hat. And... A coat, a hat, and a coat. Hmm. I know just what to do. This is a bit too small, but who cares? This is still a great Grinchy trick with this coat and this hat. I look just like Saint Nick. Except I don't really know how Saint Nick looks like because I hate him. I hate Christmas and it's time to ruin Christmas. Max, come with me. Those Yuletide loving nog sucking cheer mongers, they want to get to know me, don't they? Want to spend a little quality time with me, Miss Grinch. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind a little bit of social interaction. <laughs>
wise women came into the place and saw the baby Savior with Mary, his mother. They fell on their knees and worshipped him. Then they opened their presents over it to the baby Savior. Frankincense, mirror, and gold. Being warned in a dream that they should not return to King Herod, the three wise women went back to their own country through another way. That was wonderful! We could find and worship the baby savior! I felt so blessed! What an amazing moment I've ever experienced my whole life! Yeah, me too! I hope that what we have seen and experienced can also be felt by people all around the world, especially for our friends who are staying at home. We wish you a very blissful moment for the birth of Jesus, the baby Savior, our Savior. We also hope that after we found our Savior, we can value life, make more meaning out of it, and serve our purpose not only for ourselves, but also for others. Thank you so much for accompanying us in our journey. This is not only about looking for the baby Savior, but also living his teachings in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you so much for supporting us in many ways. So, see you again. We hope to have another opportunity to impart the true essence of Christmas. Let's give, share, and share. Bye! to give us prefects support to push through. And finally, we did it. Virginians, thank you so, so much for contributing in this charity event. All the love you have shown towards others through a night of merrymaking is wonderful to us. We might not be able to meet each other yet, but somehow it feels as if our hearts are united as one. The theme of our Christmas celebration this year is Gaudium Caritatis Christi, which is Latin for the joy of Christ's love, embodying one of the Virginian core values, Caritas. This event becomes one of the many platforms in Maria Regina School to spread love and care. All of the income from the tickets you bought will be donated to Virginians that are financially challenged during the pandemic. We have received many love from all of you, and we couldn't thank you guys enough. Our Charity Act will close on Sunday, January 17, 2021. If you would still like to contribute, you are more than welcome by following the given circular regarding a night of merrymaking. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite part of this Christmas celebration. Signing off, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas.